Hey YouTube family, how's your all's day going? Mine is going fine. Okay, it's almost six o'clock here. I'm getting ready to fix some dirty rice and I'll just be using my regular stove today. No gadgets. Stay tuned. Okay, this is what I'll be using. Okay, I've got two cups of regular rice linen rice. And I've already rinsed it maybe three or four times and drained it. And I'm putting in four cups of water. I always put uh, turmeric in my rice. Just a little to color it. And when you use turmeric, you have to use oil, so I don't have any butter, so I'm going to spray. And that keeps it from boiling over, too, the oil. Okay. I always cook my rice and my meat mixture uh, separately. So I'll bring that rice to the boil, and then I'll turn, put the top on, and then turn the fire off. Stir it up a little. Okay. I made meatloaf yesterday, so I had some meatloaf mixture left. So here it is. This has already been seasoned. So that's going in the skillet. Another little thing, uh, this is the cheap meat, so it makes a lot of grease. So I bought some 93.7 uh, ground beef to add to this because I need more than just that. And a lot of people use gizzards and all that other disgusting stuff when making dirty rice gizzards and livers and hearts and all that I don't touch that no I use ground beef or ground turkey and beef and I said this meatloaf meat has already been seasoned a lot of seasonings. Black pepper. You know what? I'm going to wait until the meat is done and I pour the grease off before I season it. Maybe I'll put a little bit in it so it can smell good while it's cooking. Onion powder, and garlic powder. And I'll put the rest of the seasons in when I uh, drain this grease off. Okay, this is what I'll be using. Red pepper flakes. Oregano leaves, basil leaves, parsley flakes, some garlic powder, onion powder, ground cumin, black pepper, and some garlic herb, black pepper, sea salt, and some Worcestershire sauce. Okay, so, and 
I bought this and I'm not sure if I used it or not before. I'm going to taste some of this. Saison Goya. We'll see what it tastes like before I use it. So I'm going to taste it right now. Mm. Can't describe it. Oh my goodness. I can see how this would liven up liven up a meal. This is good. Uh oh. I'm gonna show y'all what it looks like. For those of you who are not uh if you're not familiar with it. This orange. Mmm, it tastes good. Like you got chicken seasoning in it like bouillon or something and other things so I'll be back okay let me turn this off have any of you all heard from head chef mom I haven't seen any activity on her channel and I just want to know if she's all right I'm trying to get in nobody's business I sent her a message to see if she was okay, but uh, no reply. So if you know if she's okay, just let me know if she's okay. Okay. Okay, y'all, the meat is nice and done. And I didn't have to drain the grease out. And I tasted it a little bit, and it's seasoned. But like I said, I used the leftover meatloaf that I didn't cook. Okay. But I'm still going to put some extra seasonings in it. You can stand some more black pepper. Put some pepper in my rice too. What does this cumin taste like? Nothing? Yeah. A little cumin. Since so I didn't chop up onions in a lot of onion powder. This ain't the powdery onion powder. This is kind of big flakes like, like it says onion powder. It's grainy. Garlic powder. Parsley flakes, the herb that has no taste, oregano, something you got to be careful with because it will overtake the flavor of your food, just like sage, you have to be careful using sage, basil leaves, all these my Italian brothers. Crushed red pepper flakes. Okay now, start playing. That's good. Garlic herb, black pepper, sea salt. Just a little because it got salt in it. Okay. I like big seasonings like that, some you can see. I did the black pepper. Put this in last. Watch this sir. What's this here sauce? some of that in the rice. The Goya Saison. I bought this a while ago, but I probably never used it. And if I did, I can't remember. And it tastes so good. So I'm cutting the fire back on and I'm adding a little bit of water. So all these flavors can and blend and 
cook down. My rice has come to a boil. I'm going to put the top on it and turn the fire off. But I'm going to taste this meat mixture again to see if it needs to be spiced up anymore. I like seasoning food. Can y'all tell? Because <laughs> I like good tasting food, y'all. Mmm. 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 Okay, it don't need nothing. Let this water cook off. Turn this down. Okay. Let's see what I'm doing. Turn the fire off the rice and let the steam continue cooking the, uh, the rice. Okay, I'll be back when it's done. Basically when the rice is done. I'm going to put the rice in here. Actually, you can make egg rolls out of this stuff. The rice and the meat mixture. I bet they'll make a good egg roll. Or a meat pie. Okay. Turn this real, real low. Okay. Put the top on it. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, y'all, the rice is done. I'm going to uh, pour it in the meat mixture. That's how the meat looks. That's how the rice looks. I think that's enough rice. And I had the right amount of mixture between rice and meat. So I think I used maybe a cup and a half of rice out of the two cups. I don't know. So I don't measure nothing. I'm going to pour this on my serving platter and take a picture, and I will be back. Oh, it smells so good. I'm going to do my rice. That's what I call it, a little. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, y'all, this is my dirty rice. Look at that. You can see the spices in it. I am going to taste it. Let me get a picture from my thumbnail. Okay. Okay, I'm going to taste some of this dirty rice. It's spicy. 
these seasonings are out of sight. That stuff in the orange pack, I can taste it. Rice is cooked perfectly. Seasoned good. Mm -mm -mm. Now, I didn't over salt it. Okay. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, leave a nice comment, and subscribe to my channel. Okay, you all have a blessed day. Thanks for watching. Bye.